Here we go then, boys and girls. We should theoretically be live. I don't know for sure that we are. So if anyone is watching and would like to say hello, say hello to let me know that it's working. We should be live on both YouTube and TikTok. Um, I'm just logging in on the PC. I can see it on YouTube. So I think we're good on YouTube. Um, I'm just seeing if we are. I think we are live on TikTok as well. I think I figured it all out. Oh, isn't he a clever boy? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Welcome along, everybody. How are we doing? Are we all good? It's been a long time since I've done a uh, since I've done a stream on this channel. A lot. I mean, I stream every day over on Twitch. So it's not that it's been a long time since I've streamed, but since I've done a stream here, it's been a while. How are we all doing? What have we been up to? Have you missed me? You should have missed me. How are we all enjoying the cruise series? Is all the audio and everything good? Can you see and hear me properly in both places? This is very much an experiment. We're, it's kind of a TikTok experiment more than anything. I just want to check that I've got everything working on TikTok the way it's supposed to be working. Basically, I need to do two TikTok live streams in the next two weeks to be allowed to then live, live stream whenever I want. Keith in the TikTok chat is there saying the audio is ace. So I think we are good on TikTok. I mean, the TikTok setup is basically the same as I use for the Football Manager streams on the other TikTok because we do, if you've not been keeping up to date with what's going on, um, I stream five nights a week on Twitch, Sunday to Thursday, and then they dual stream onto my other TikTok channel as well. So I think I know how to do TikTok. I just need to, uh, just need to get it up and running. Oh, the, the YouTube chat's busy. Hello, boys and girls. How's my back doing? Keith, are you... <laughs> Keith's in both chats. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> my back's all right. I've tidied my office today. I don't know if you can tell. You'll only be able to see this on YouTube. But look, I've I've redone the wall. I finally put the Guinness World Record thing up on the wall. So it doesn't have to just be resting and balancing on things all the time. So I've been, uh, I've been doing DIY. There was a hook there already. But it's DIY. It's basically DIY. <laughs> um right let's uh i mean lots of people saying hello the basic plan the basic plan for the for the evening i'm not going to be live ages maybe half hour 45 minutes if you've been in any of my youtube vlog streams before um then you'll know the drill we're going to be live about 30 minutes 45 minutes just have a little bit of a chat and a catch-up really like i say i've not been live over on this channel for ages so would like to get back into that again this year really enjoyed some of the on location lives we were doing last year on the vlog stuff and as travel is now up and running again we've we've already done the cruise we're going to rome soon we're going to edinburgh soon uh we've got i mean there's loads of trips planned over the next six weeks or so so there's going to be some opportunity for some live streams on youtube and then like I say, would like to have the option to just go live on TikTok when I feel like it as well. So we're uh, we're experimenting. Um, but the general gist of what's going to happen, we'll just do a little bit of a little bit, of, little bit of a chat, a little bit of a Q and A. I guess if you've got any burning questions you want to ask, feel free to uh, burningly ask them. Um, otherwise, I'll just waffle on for a bit. I think in order to hit the rules on TikTok, I think I have to do two. 25 minute or more streams during the next it's now 13 days because i i set it up yesterday so we're going to be we're going to be live until at least half past seven so please ask some questions so we've got something to talk about am i going to return to thought park anytime soon i don't know thought park is probably the least likely theme park you'll see me in this year it's it's further away than the likes of Alton Towers. Andy doesn't really like it, so it's not somewhere we're likely to take him. And we've been, me and Anna have been there loads of times. So, I don't know. I think if we were going to go to a big UK theme park, we'd probably go to Alton Towers. And if we were going to take Andy somewhere, we'd be more likely to go to somewhere like Legoland or um, Great Manor. Is that the one over in Tamworth? The one with Thomas Land? Is that right? um so no I, I don't know maybe not maybe not thought park anytime soon um 
I used to watch your videos as a teen. How's Andy doing? Does he still like taking videos? He's doing well. We're not going to talk loads about Andy because as those anyone who's out of the loop, Andy moved out like a year ago. Um, he's an adult now. He turns 19 or 20 this year. How old is he? I think he turns 19 this year. He might turn 20 this year. I'd have to ask Anna. I can't remember how old he is. I can't remember how old any of them. In fact, right, I can work it backwards from Lucy because there's a two-year gap between each of them. So Lucy has just has turned 21 this year. Did she? Lucy was 22 this year. So that means Andy must be 20 this year and Amy's 18 this year. That's right. Yeah, so he turns 20 this year. So yeah, he is a, he is a full-blown adult. So... um leave him to do his own thing but yeah he's good he's fine um that's that's andy addressed <laughs> um let's see what else is going on uh do i have another cruise booked yes yeah absolutely um we've already got a cruise booked for next year basically the the big cruise the cruise that we wanted to do because the whole point of the um of the amsterdam cruise which is still going to be two or three more videos coming out um, I think we're settled on Monday as a release day for the vlogs on YouTube now. Um, and we've still got a full day in Amsterdam. We've still got a full sea day. And then I think we're going to do like a wrap up how we felt, what we learned from our first cruise kind of thing. So it's probably going to be three more videos in that series. Um, but spoilers for the end. We had a great time. We really enjoyed it. We didn't get sick. And uh, it passed the test. The whole point of that cruise was to see if we could cope with going on a cruise we coped with going on a cruise so we've now booked the big one the one that we wanted um which is going to norway or going basically going up to see the northern lights anna really wants to see the northern lights her bucket list is much smaller than my bucket list so the few items that are on her bucket list we prioritize because basically everything we do i'm giddy and excited about because i just like to do things but yeah, Anna's always wanted to go and see the Northern Lights and seeing it from a cruise ship seems like a really cool way to do it. So um, it's booked for sort of this time next year. We're going to be away for two weeks cruising basically up the side of Norway into the Arctic Circle. Then we've got like four or five days right at the top. I think we've got one overnight in Tromsø and then three nights, two or three nights in Alta is that the other one up there like right up at the top and um and then we cruise back down again we see some fjords on the way as well and fingers crossed get to see the northern lights so that's that's already booked so that's that's exciting times like that very much um would I ever become a teacher again no well I mean can never say never because you all might stop watching immediately I, like if nobody ever watches another piece of my content ever again we could survive for a little while but we can't survive for the rest of my life on the money we've made over the last however many years so um maybe i would go back into it i don't think i'd enjoy it i i i, I think if if this all came crashing down now i think i could i think i could carve something else out business wise I think it would be, uh, yeah, I, I think it's unlikely I'd go back to teaching, quite apart from anything else. I'm so out of the loop on just teaching in general. I'd almost have to start again from the beginning. I was a head of faculty when I left, but I don't know what they're teaching now. It's seven years since I left being a teacher. So I think it's it's unlikely that I'm going to get back into it. Um, I think what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to kind of dance back and forth between the TikTok chat and the YouTube chat just to make sure that I'm chatting with both chats rather than just focusing on one or the other. So that one was from TikTok. So if we jump back over to YouTube again, can I bring back the weight loss vlogs? Um, probably not like full on weight loss vlogs, um, but certainly as I continue to lose weight, I'm probably going to do do what content creators do and there'll be uh there'll be before and after pictures that appear in places there'll be what I eat in a days there'll be a how I lost x amount of pounds so there'll be content along those lines it's not going to be a huge focus um because I don't find it hugely interesting I don't, I don't think it's very interesting to be like 
I'm trying to lose weight and this is how I'm trying. I think it's much more interesting to say I lost weight and this is how I did it. So I think that's kind of the uh, the angle that we'll go for. Um, would we ever do a Disney cruise in the future? Never say never, but we looked into it when we booked the Norway one and goodness me, is it expensive. Um, for us, to, we've booked two weeks for the one to Norway that I described before. For that amount of money on a Disney cruise, we'd get four nights. So, yeah, it seems unlikely. It's actually cheaper to do, comparing the cost of like a... Uh, if we, I, spent, I mean, actually in Europe, if we were to go over to like do the Caribbean Disney cruise, it would probably be cheaper, rather than us just do the Disney cruise, it would be cheaper for us to go to Disney in Florida and then do a different cruise. And the two of them combined would probably be cheaper than uh, than just doing a Disney cruise. So we'd have to get pretty... If, we, if you see me doing a Disney cruise at any point, no things are going very, very well. I think that's probably the easiest way to answer that. Um, we've booked a P and O cruise, and the one we went on last year was unreal. You really can't tell the boats moving. No, you really can't. It's bonkers. It's absolutely mad. Absolutely mad. Um, yeah, I was absolutely fine with it all. Um, let's have. Is is Anna able to adventure about more now? She's comfortable and has her scooter. Um, yeah, I mean, she didn't bring the scooter on the cruise. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're going to Rome. We've got five days in Rome where we're not taking the scooter. So that's going to be a little bit of a test for how trips like that go. Um, but then we come back and we've then got like a week in Edinburgh and we are taking the scooter there. So I think we'll do a comparison of those two trips and decide if she needs the scooter for every trip from now on. Um, but my, my plan for Rome is very much there's like half a dozen things you're supposed to do in Rome. We'll just get Uber's or the local equivalent free now whatever it is we'll just get a taxi from what we won't do a lot of walking we're not going to do Rome on foot we're gonna we're gonna do Rome the for me the lazy way for Anna the accessible way um am I planning on visiting Belgium anytime soon not not necessarily planning Belgium Andy really wants to go back to Belgium he's been asking Anna about it but because he obviously enjoyed it last time he went. If you didn't see those videos years ago, he had a great time in Bruges. Um, but taking him on holiday on a holiday like that now is a very different proposition to what it was back then, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's something we're going to be doing anytime soon. I don't know that. Uh, me and I think in order in order to safely take him on a holiday like that, me and Anna both need to be fully fit and mobile um it doesn't really work if we can't chase him around in a scooter for example so i don't know we'll see um just for me or just for me and anna we haven't got anything planned for belgium this year we've got a lot of other stuff planned but but no belgium so far but never 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 say never always never say never any chance of vlogs coming back i mean i literally released a vlog on monday <laughs> and there'll be another one coming out on Monday. There's been vlogs for like the last two or three weeks. They are back. Um, they were uh, the only reason they uh, the only reason they weren't happening is because it was during the launch period of FM24, and I was too. I literally wasn't leaving the house, and it would have just been me in this room, and that's not a very interesting vlog. But yeah, the vlogs the, we did we vlogged all spring, summer, autumn last year. We'll do it again this year, and probably get into a pattern where we do the. We do the vlogs throughout the three quarters of the year when we're able to travel and the other quarter of the year when I'm locked in this room making football manager videos, we probably will go a bit quiet on these platforms and really focus in on the football manager stuff. What are the top three on my bucket list? So my personal bucket list, this is going to make me out to be such a nerd. Uh, number one, I want to go to Tokyo and use the vending machines. I know there's other things to do in Tokyo. But the thing that excites me the most is all the vending machines that are there. So I want to go to Tokyo and use the vending machines. Um, I want to go to Las Vegas and play in the World Series of Poker. And I want to drive across America in a Winnebago. I want to fly into like New York or Florida and then buy a Winnebago and do a massive loop and basically do it almost like as a big looping round. So if we start in New York, go across the top half bits 
um, across to like Seattle and then go down that coast down into California and then come back out up into Vegas and then go back around and maybe finish in Florida, sell the Winnebago and come back again. That one's a bit of a long shot because that would take months to do. And obviously Anna wouldn't want to go months without seeing Andy. So we might have to do that one in smaller chunks than just in one go. But yeah, they're my, they're my big three things. Um, right, let's have a look what else we've got. Um, are we, are we going to move again now? It's just the two of us. No plans to at the moment. Um, we talk about this on Twitch quite a lot because people do wonder about us being just two people in a four bed house. Um, but the honest answer is our rent on our four bed house is cheaper than a mortgage would be on a two bed flat. So for as long as our rent doesn't go up, we don't really have an incentive to buy, to move. So we're, we're basically going to sit here and keep this for as long as the rent doesn't rise. So if we go the next 20 years and they never put the rent up, we'll stay here for the next 20 years because it's so cheap. Um, if they if we get a letter drop tomorrow saying they're adding loads onto our rent, we'll probably move this summer. It really depends. It ju just comes down to that. Um, right, what else have we got? Um, when am I going to Dortmund? Haven't got it locked in yet. I think it's probably going to be next season. Um, I don't know when I can go. The only get the only time that possibly would have been available is this weekend, and my back wasn't wasn't well enough to fly, so we couldn't do this. Plus, it was eight hundred pounds to do this weekend. But I've looked at every fixture they've got for the rest of the season, and I'm for all of them. I'm already doing something else. Um, whether it's another trip that we've got booked or um, clashes with other bits and bobs. There's one of them that clashes with uh, with Posh being at Wembley, for example. Um, the only way I'll get to see them this season is if they progress in the Champions League and the Champions and they get a home Champions League draw that I can somehow get tickets to. That might work. Otherwise, we're probably going to be looking at going next year. One thing we did think of was we'd quite like to go to Gamescom in Cologne this year in Germany, which is less than an hour from Dortmund in August. So if the fixtures are kind to us in August, the ideal would be drive to Cologne, do Gamescom, and then on the day of the Dortmund game, leave Anna either at the convention or just in the hotel in Cologne, drive to Dortmund, watch the match, drive back again, and then drive home. We'd need the car with us, because, or we'd need to rent a car, but it'd be easier just to drive there. It's not much further than going to Disneyland. Um, so we might do it then. But yeah, it's uh, it's tricky because it's so late in the season. Football manager need to release the game in August. If they release the game in August, then non league to legend would be getting to the business end by like November, December, and I'd have time to plan the match day vlogs. It was the same last year. I had I ended up rushing around Barcelona, Turin, Liverpool, like re really close together. There was, I think it was like this time last year, I went on like three, I did, I, I flew like six times in a month just trying to get these match day vlogs in. And this time, I guess it's taken a little bit longer to get away from, from the club that we were at with Burton. Um, am I going to go to the stadium? Like, I think I've just answered that one, haven't I? Um, have we got anything else on TikTok at the moment? If you could go to any Disney park, which one would I pick out of California, Tokyo, Florida? I mean, we've only ever been to Paris. So I guess the obvious answer is Florida because it's the big one, isn't it? Um, that being said, if we were to go to Tokyo, there's other stuff we want to do in Tokyo. If we were to go to Anaheim, there's other stuff we want to do in California. Um, whereas Florida, we literally just want to go and do the parks. So if someone gave me 10 grand now and said, hey, Kev, go plan a trip. You must go to Disney. We might actually end up prioritizing one of the other ones so that we could do some other stuff while we were there as well. Um, I hope your landlord's not watching. I mean... If my la I, I, this is a conversation I've had with my landlord because we had a set time, a set term on our lease, and then that came to an end. They asked if we wanted to extend the term, and I said not really, but we'll go month to month. And they said, well, we're not planning on changing the rent. And I said, well, if you don't change the rent, I'm not planning on moving. I put my cards on the table and said, look, we we're at the point where we could buy a house if the circumstances were right, but at the moment we're happy here, so it's 
convenient for us to stay if the rent stays low and they said well it's convenient for us to have a hundred percent occupancy and the rent still covers the mortgage so unless something crazy happens with mortgage rates and it gets to the point where our rent doesn't cover their mortgage i think we're probably set for a long time because they're not like a professional investor they lived here and then got married moved into the other house and rented this one out so this is the only investment property they've got and it covers their rent so i think it's uh it's a scenario that works well for all involved so they're they're not keen for us to leave and they know if they put the rent up we will leave so i i suspect we'll be staying for a while and the rent won't be changing that's the that's the thinking anyway um have I seen the plans to build Universal Theme Park in bed? But I saw talk of it over like Christmas. I've not heard anything mentioned of it since, but very exciting. Very, very exciting. Look forward to that. Um, What are you planning for Lucy's 18th birthday? Lucy turned 22 this year. <laughs> <laughs> Any plans to return? I think people forget how long ago the daily vlogs were. The daily vlog ended five years ago. <laughs> and i know for a lot of you that's the point where you like disconnected from like we didn't like pause in time when the daily vlog ended we carried on getting older um yeah lucy is a lucy is a, a full-grown adult now um i mean they all are amy turns 18 this year um right are you going to any conventions this year far fewer conventions than we've been to previously um, I kind of made the decision after really disappointing conventions last year, EGX was awful. There was nothing to play and Comic-Con didn't have any comic books in. It was basically Manga-Con and I'm not really into manga. Um, so I made the decision at the turn of the year. It wasn't just me as a as a group. The those of us who like the group of us who go to the conventions together, we kind of talked about it on the last day of EGX of how we weren't really interested in going this year. So uh, what we decided to do instead was go to Disneyland together. So Pab's coming to Disneyland with me and Anna later in the year in Paris. Um, and that trip is costing us roughly what going to the conventions would normally cost us. So no plans at the moment to go to any conventions unless I'm booked to work at them. So speak or be on a panel or work at them in some other way, like doing another world record thing or something. I'm not going to do another world record thing. Um, but so at the moment, I will be at Insomnia over Easter weekend because they've booked me. So I'll be at Insomnia, I'll be at Insomnia uh, but no plans to be at London Comic Con in May currently, unless they get in touch and ask for me to come and do a panel again. Um, and if they do, I'd probably just go in for the day. I don't think I'm going to be down there for the full weekend. No plans to do EGX. No plans to do October Comic Con. Um, again, unless I'm booked. We do quite like the idea, like I was saying before, of doing Gamescom in Germany because we've never done that before. So maybe we'll do Gamescom in Germany. Uh, but yeah, far fewer conventions this year um, and more focus on just general travel stuff. Any plans to return to Tenerife? Have we done Siam Park? Um, not Tenerife. We are going to Lanzarote this year. Um, we thought it would be a little bit predictable content-wise if we were to go back to Tenerife again and make, remake all the same videos. The reason we didn't go to Siam Park is because you can't wear glasses in there, according to their website, and I don't have contact lenses and can't see without my glasses. So uh, you can't wear glasses on any of the slides. They make you take them off, and I don't want to have to leave my glasses at the top of a slide go down the slide and then blindly make my way back up again and find my glasses um so uh yeah at the moment cyan park's not really an option unless i were to get contact we did say it we will go back to tenerife one day and when we do i'll get some disposable contact lenses before we go um what games are on my list to play oh god my list my to play list is huge um, I'm still working through Persona 3 Reload, then I've got to finish Baldur's Gate 3, and then I can worry about new games. <laughs> I, uh, there's so much, so much to play. I just don't have time to play games anymore. Uh, the wrestlers behind me have fallen over. Yeah, that's because I've tidied the office today. So I've knocked into the cupboard a couple of times. I did get a new wrestling figure. We went to B&M today. And I got myself a Brett the Hitman heart. So I have got a new wrestler. He's squashed in between the Young Bucks and Sammy Guevara. What a lineup. 
but yeah i need to go through and sort the wrestlers i even moved the uh the youtube plaque so that you don't have that big dirty mark on the wall that i had before i know you can't see this on tiktok and i've tried to position the cushions so you can't see but you can just about see that one there but i'm i might even paint the wall i'm not going to paint the wall because we're going to move house i don't need to paint the wall <laughs> oh right let's uh now you've got two spare bedrooms would i move the office into a bigger space yes that is the plan um basically i'm moving into the uh, the room upstairs which was amy's bedroom and anna is going to be taking over what was andy's room for her desk and like lego and stuff and all the other things she likes to do um but she'll work there because anna anna is fully in anna, anna works in the business now um yeah, the the main reason I haven't been, well, there's two reasons why I haven't moved up there yet. Uh, reason one is it does involve moving lots of stuff and lifting all the stuff up the stairs does not seem fun. But reason two and the main reason is that my internet is wired into this room and I need a wired inter internet connection to be able to stream. So I need to move the router upstairs, which means either running a cable up the stairs or drilling through the ceiling. And uh, I need to talk to my landlord if I'm going to drill through the ceiling which is the realistic way that we do it. So it's just a just a case of haven't got round to doing it yet. But fingers crossed this year, I will actually do it. I have been saying that for over a year, though. Um, right. How much do you save by vlogging the holidays? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, yeah, Brett's got the Intercontinental Championship on. That is correct. Saw your cruise video. Shame about the seasickness. I mean, it, we barely suffered from any seasickness, so it was a, it was a non-event really. Um, the seasickness. We're we're very much looking forward to going on our next cruise. Um, what music do I enjoy? I don't really listen to music. I don't listen to new music anyway. I'm too old for music now. Um, similar to the children, I have continued to get older since the daily vlogs stopped. Um, and my musical tastes are very much trapped in like mid noughties indie alternative stuff and I've never moved on from it and at this point I'm never going to move on from it. Like, if, you, if you listen to my Twitch stream, if you watch my Twitch streams, you would hear my music over there, which is very much um, like The Strokes, The White Stripes, Block Party, um, the same music I was listening to 10, 15, 20 years ago. How's Ivan Tony's boot doing nowadays? Can you see it? Is it in frame? It is in frame on YouTube. There you go. Ivan Tony's boot is a... See, the people on TikTok can't see Ivan Tony's boot. Um, oh, how much do I save in taxes? <laughs> what, by, by vlogging the trips? I mean, we wouldn't be travelling as... It's not... that. That's not a simple thing to answer. I mean, mo. If we weren't vlogging them, we wouldn't be doing them. So it's not a case of we're saving loads of money by putting the holidays we would have had anyway through the business. Um, me and Anna hadn't been on a... I hadn't been on a plane in 15 years until last year. Anna hadn't been on one in 25 years. Um, we, we, did, we weren't travelling before. So it's not a case of we're saving loads of money by sneakily putting the holidays we would have had anyway through the business. We are travelling in order to make content so it's not really a simple answer um but yeah we are the, the the travel that we do is very much in order to make content it obviously has its perks as well it's lovely to be able to go around to all these awesome places and do all this awesome stuff but ultimately we are doing it in order to make content and if we weren't making the content we wouldn't be going in the first place um right let's uh Am I watching TNA this weekend? I don't know. Don't even, I don't even have time to watch WWE. Never mind TNA. Goodness me. Um, Topher, I'm sorting you out now. Um, there you go. Topher is now a moderator on TikTok. Um, so the people who are getting a little bit overexcited and asking the same things over and over again, uh, Topher's going to deal with you. <laughs> um, I think I've made you a mod. Yeah, I have. There you go, Topher. You've got mod access on TikTok. So you can deal with that person who's asking the same question that's already been answered. Oh, just time them out, Topher. Get it done. Get them gone. Because it's just the TikTok track is being, track, chat is being ruined by one person asking the same question 
over again. Um, will I make a video on moving office? Probably not. Is that something people would want to see? Because the thing is, where would I upload such a thing? <laughs> um, it doesn't really fit into... I, I mean, it'd be more likely to be something I put on TikTok rather than uh, rather than made as a video on what is effectively a channel a travel channel on youtube so probably probably not i don't know probably not unless you really really wanted it uh stampy thank you very much for the super chat um any update from forest holidays on the reefer no they go on my uh they go on my bad bad list the naughty list with eurostar as companies that will pr forever owe me money and I will never use again. So as much as we've enjoyed those forest holidays trips, we won't be going back um, because as far as I'm concerned, they owe me at least a grand, just like Eurostar do. But similar to a lot of customer service, the, the idea, old man rent incoming, modern customer service is all about making you jump through so many ho hoops that you just give up eventually. And that's basically the situation I'm in with forest holidays. I've had 500 pounds back off them, which was a 25% refund and i think that's the best i'm going to do and i don't have time to keep pushing it and uh because of that they win they get to keep the rest um i my time is this is a wangy sentence my time is worth more than the time it would take to get that money i'd be better off going and making a grand doing something else rather than spending the days it would take of chasing them up not all in one go, but obviously spread out over goodness knows how long. And yeah, I'll just write it off and won't use them again. Which, they got a lot of positive publicity out of us. We thought we always enjoyed that, but it's their own fault. They're on the naughty list and they'll stay on there forever. Um, what happened with Eurostar? Go and check out the vlog archive. Um, long story short, we got stranded in uh, Brussels on our way home from Amsterdam. And I spilt loads of iced tea over a box of macaroons, which was the most heartbreaking part of it all. Um, yeah, this is both on both TikTok and YouTube, the stream. So you can watch it on either. Take Forest Holidays and Eurostar through a small claims court. I mean, that's exactly the kind of not worth my time thing that I'm not going to do. Um, I, I, it would cut by the time I've paid to do that because i would need a lawyer to do it for me or i would need to invest a lot of time in doing it it's it's literally not worth doing i would lose more than what they owe me in lost income from not being able to work because i was faffing around doing all that so and that's that's what they that's what they hope for they hope that they push you through so many hoops that you give up because it's no longer worth your time to try and get that amount of money back and they win. It's not worth my time. So they get to keep it. Um, right. Am I recording the podcast tonight? Yes. So we'll be stopping in like 10 minutes so I can record the podcast. Um, if you want a good holiday experience, try and find private caravan owners. My uncle got a two-week holiday for £500. Interesting. I mean, without wanting to sound really snobby, I probably don't want two weeks in a caravan. Um, because not because I wouldn't enjoy a two-week holiday. I don't mean it in that way. It's more a case of I don't think there's two weeks worth of content to pull out of a caravan holiday trip. And like I say, we because this is because it's all because this all goes through the business. We have to be quite careful that like we can't go on a two-week trip and make one video because at that point it's like well you went on holiday. And then spent one day working. We, If we were to ever get audited by HMRC, we have to be able to show that every day we were on the trip, we were making content. Um, and for me, the easiest way to be able to show that is do a vlog of each day, which is why that's what you're getting with the cruise. I had a long conversation about this with my accountant. Um, and yeah, the easiest way is for each day that we're there, make a video of that day from start to end because that way obviously that day was spent spent making videos make tiktoks every day it's one of the reasons we've started tiktok back up again um so yeah we have to be able to demonstrate that the trips are work trips and not 
holidays that we're basically sharing our holiday snaps of on the internet <laughs> which is which is fun uh why would you pick forest holidays over center parks you get the subtropical swimming paradise there well i wouldn't now um at the time we did because i mean again this is positive forest holidays stuff but it's more animal friendly more dog friendly they have enclosed gardens which is good you get a hot tub in every cabin which we liked and it's cheaper than center parks um but the answer the answer to the question we wouldn't choose it ahead of center parks now and we've booked center parks for later in the year for our chapman family reunion trip that we're going to be having in the summer um where we get all five of us six of us we have to include dave in fact no dave can't come that's the thing center parks in order for all five of us to be there to get that size of cabin we couldn't find a dog friendly one so yeah we it we're all going to center parks but dave's going to have to go to the kennels because we couldn't get him in at the same time uh which is sad um which would have been another reason to pick forest holidays so dave can come um do you have a dual pc setup no i used to uh but now i just have a nasa supercomputer so have no reason to have one um yeah i i had one and it was more hassle than it was worth um did i ever just forward my emails to the ceo honestly i haven't got time and it 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 makes me sound richer than i am <laughs> but i don't have the time to chase these companies i asked them for a refund they gave me a refund smaller than what i asked for that's about all the time i had so they win i don't have time to chase it up any further um park dean resorts are a good place for holidays they're dog friendly too well look i mean we're going to look into lots of stuff like that over the summer we certainly want to get back into doing the the british travel stuff this summer as well obviously it's very expensive to keep traveling abroad um so we can't do that often enough to have weekly content coming out um but we also like we like a british holiday we loved the uh, the one down in the new forest last year was awesome I mean, the Skegness trips, the Great Yard trip, they were great trips. So, um, yeah, we'll be doing some um, some UK travel this year as well. Not staycation, because a staycation is staying at home. I'll get on my soapbox about that if you make me. But we will be doing some travel within the UK. I mean, we've got um, we've got uh, like four or five days in Edinburgh coming up, for example. So we will be doing some, uh, some UK travel. Um, what's my favourite type of radiator? A hot one actually maybe a cold one um will the worst seaside town videos continue yes we've not been to blackpool yet <laughs> so yes absolutely um am i watching elimination chamber tomorrow probably not don't really have time like i say don't have time to watch ww i haven't watched this week's dynamite yet i am i can't emphasize enough how busy i am <laughs> all of the time and i just don't have time to really watch anything at all um in two we've got i've got two more weeks of work get your tiny violins out i've got two more weeks of work in order to get two weeks ahead on the work because then we're in rome and then we get back we're back for one day and then we're off to edinburgh so and because of my back because my, my back's been bad i haven't been able to be in here just cranking out the videos so at the moment i don't even have mondays normally to legend made so over the next two weeks i need to make four weeks off of football manager videos so i'll be cracking on with that all weekend just don't have the time to i mean i might have it on in the background but probably probably not i would guess probably not um what's the time right we can probably do maybe another five minutes five or ten minutes and then we are going to have to wrap things up so i can go and uh go and do the podcast which will be out tomorrow morning exactly uh does it even count as a business expense if ad revenue is significantly below the cost of the trip uh yes because it's growing a business same as when i was starting out and i bought a camera that cost more than i'd made on youtube so far that was a business expense because it's all about growing the channel if we were to just flail around um if we were to just flail around for the next five years getting low views and not covering the cost then there might, might be some questions asked but i mean for example looking at last since we've had if we look through last year's content um the barcelona trip paid for itself just because we had the main channel content from that as well um tenerife didn't 
um disneyland almost certainly the previous two disneyland trips more than paid for themselves the current one hasn't yet um but the skegness and great yarmouth trips we made a profit on uh, because they were so cheap to do um so yeah it's not that we're just spraying money up the wall and pretending it's a business and there's no money coming in um the vlog channel as a whole run has probably run at a loss over the last year but it's not run as a separate business from the main channel and, and it, especially because a lot of the trips are main channel and vlog channel and uh yeah it's all one big pot so we make more money on youtube than we spend on travel again i i it's all it's all done properly i'm very very conservative when it comes to managing the money managing the business side of things because one of my greatest fears is having an audit and being told i owe money i'm fairly confident if we ever were audited i'd be told they owe me money because there's probably stuff i could have claimed that i haven't claimed um i doubt they actually do that i don't really know how audits work but i'm pretty sure that certainly we could push the uh we could push the boundaries further than we push them um and claim more stuff um right what else have we got have i ever been to devon or cornwall on on the channel no i have years ago as like a teenager i haven't been this century to devon or cornwall i don't think uh so yeah never say never like i say we're gonna do uk stuff so it's a bit of a further drive for us we are very much in the midlands so getting down to cornwall is a long old drive i've said before it's from my front door it's probably quicker to get to disneyland paris than it is to get to the tip of cornwall it's probably quicker for us to drive to germany in the summer than it would be to get to cornwall so we'd need a really good reason to go but we'll work our way around we'll get there eventually if not this year we've got we've hopefully got another good 20 25 years of this to go yet of all this travel content before i have to retire so we'll certainly get round to it you yeah you, we don't have to rush it all this year boys and girls um when do i plan on doing the blackpool trip we've not got anything scheduled in yet i quite liked the idea of going when the illuminations were on but i think the illuminations are on when it's cold aren't they i was looking at it so i think we'll probably just do it at some point over the summer um i don't know when i haven't got anything planned we'll see um how was the cruise awesome would i recommend one yes make sure you go and watch the videos there's a couple of first couple of vlogs are already on youtube and uh there'll be more to come there's a new one out on monday have i ever been to durham i've never been further north than leeds am i planning to go to hull fair no because it's basically the same as goose fair isn't it and i don't particularly like goose fair and we don't need to take Andy to another massive fair because then we'd have to take him there every year. Would I go to Pleasure Beach with the Blackpool trip? Probably. We did the last time. We did a our very first piece of sponsored content on uh, certainly sponsored travel content years ago. We're probably going back to like 2017, 2018 now. Uh, one of our very first brand deals when we were just starting out with the vlog was with Premier Inn. And they basically put us up in a Premier Inn in Blackpool for three days and gave us a little bit of spensies for while we were there so um we have done a black but it's one of the reasons why i'm not rushing to get back because we've done a blackpool travel vlog series before but it was a long time ago now and uh obviously it would be very different if we were to make it now but yeah we did we did blackpool we did the pleasure beach and all that kind of stuff but um yeah if you want to see me in blackpool then there is content on the vlog archive channel where you can go and uh, go and watch the whole trip, and we'll be very we'll be very complimentary about Premier Premier Inn as part of it because it was a Premier Inn brand deal. Um, bring back bus, bring back mustard news. Um, Mike, do you? you don't actually remember mustard news? You've just heard me talking about it. Do I have a favourite vlog or trip on the channel? I think. I mean, if we're going back through the archives as well and not just the new channel that's only existed for six months it will take a lot of topping that first disneyland paris trip um because 
it was one of those things where we never thought we'd have the opportunity to do it and then we did it and they all cried and that was awesome um so i think just from a just from an impact perspective that's going to take some beating uh but i just love turning up in a city i've never been to before and wandering around i look but i think my favorite trip of last year was geneva i loved just turning up in switzerland having no idea what i was going to do while i was there other than watch a football match and just figuring geneva out i thought that was so much fun love love doing stuff like that um have i ever been to rugby i've been through rugby i've been to rugby services rugby services are amongst the best services around i think they're just off the m where the m6 meets the m1 aren't they rugby services is great <laughs> how often do i plan on doing these q a streams probably a little bit more often based on how popular this one has been i mean bearing in mind it's been a long while since i've done anything like this we've got a decent number watching on youtube we've got more people watching on tiktok than watch the football manager stuff so probably fairly often i mean there'll there'll definitely be one next week because like i say in order to be properly signed off and allowed to do tiktok lives whenever i want i have to do two during this two week trial period that i've got so this is the first one so there'll probably be another one next week and then we'll do them probably as we travel from then like last year we did we did a live from skegness we did a live from bournemouth i think i did one from great yarmouth um so i'd quite like to be able to do them whilst we're traveling it'd be cool like in a few weeks to be sat there in rome and just do a live from rome if 5g allows it we shall see enjoy the gifts adam i don't really know how gifts work on tiktok i really appreciate them i don't really know what it means but thank you i don't if you could explain the gifts to me like as a bit of a TikTok newbie, I would appreciate that because that's one thing I haven't, I don't really understand yet. Um, right, we are going to be down. We're down to the last couple of minutes, so we'll perhaps do one more question from each platform: one YouTube, one TikTok. Because then I do need to go and rest my voice before we do the podcast. We start recording the podcast at eight o'clock. Um, let's pick one from YouTube. Basically, you get money from them. Well, thank you then. I appreciate that definitely um we'll come back to youtube because there doesn't seem to be any questions in there um let's see if we've got any questions on tiktok have i been to edinburgh i'm going in a few weeks um so it's like twitch donations okay i understand then any trips with sheepdog um i've got no trip trips with sheepdog planned for this year i mean full disclosure the reason i traveled a lot with sheepdog last year there was two reasons reason number one andy was still in the process of moving out so anna couldn't just come with me because she was having to step like when i went to barcelona anna was here with andy when i went to turin anna was here with andy um so anna couldn't come and i hadn't flown for a long long time and was a scaredy cat so needed a travel companion plus we were trying to get best thing from back off the ground so sheepdog needed to be there for that but best thing from died because everyone hated it and i don't need a travel companion anymore i flew to paris on my own last summer for twitchcon i'm going to be flying to rotterdam on my own for twitchcon this summer um if i have to go to dortmund on my own i'm a big brave boy now and can do it on my own so i don't need my little travel companion anymore because i had to buy all his tickets you know i paid for the flights i paid for the hotel i paid for the match tickets i don't need to pay for everything twice i'm brave enough to do it on my own now so yeah unless sheepdog decides to uh just tag along and pay for it himself probably not going to be joining me on any trips anytime soon pab's coming to disneyland though later in the year that's going to be cool um right let's pick something off of youtube as well um where's the next cruise we talked about that earlier in the stream do a tour around northern ireland for a few days i mean we there are plans to to head over that way at some point i get we've got a long list of places we want to go um both within the uk into ireland um out into europe rest of the world and it's just trying to find that balancing act of making sure that we can afford to do it so we need, don't want to overextend ourselves and book too many expensive trips too close together but we also don't want to like run out of content or 
conversely get to the point we got to with the Disneyland videos because I think one of the reasons the most recent Disneyland vlogs didn't do so well was they came out so late so we were releasing videos in December that we recorded in September so it was all two months out of date and everyone knew it I, it couldn't be helped because my hard drive died and I thought I was losing all of the footage but I don't want to get into that again I want to be able to release the stuff fairly close to when the trips happen so we need to we've pretty much got enough trips planned to have one video a week between now and probably October so then it's a case of thinking okay so what do we do from there do we add more stuff in and then just fill that gap where I'm going to be doing FM25 stuff and won't be able to travel or do we start compressing it a little bit and maybe doing two videos a week again like we were for some of last year and while at the same time monitoring the analytics on the channel because obviously we've not really uploaded for months so it's going to take a little bit of a while to start building up the income on there again and we do have to be mindful of how much we're making compared to how much we're spending because we don't want to take the mick we don't want to be thou running like five bigger losses on the travel stuff because then it does look like we're just having holidays and scamming the system so um yeah it's more complicated to plan than it probably looks from the outside looking in but yes there is plans to do stuff like that in the uh, in the future don't want to say near future because i don't know how near it will be but like i say coming up very soon um we've got on on the horizon now before before we get to the like before we get to the school summer holidays let's phrase it this way we've already got booked in rome edinburgh center parks lanzarote rotterdam i think that's everything that's oh there's a we're in manchester for a few days for something um so there's a lot of content already booked in a lot of trips already booked in and then we'll fit the other stuff around it and then we've got Disneyland coming later in the year. There's there's lots. There's a lot going on. Oh, oh it's very complicated. Right, boys and girls, we are going to have to wrap things up there because I need to go and do the podcast in a couple of minutes. Um, so thank you very much for joining me on the live, both on YouTube and on TikTok. Um, like I say, there will be more of this stuff in the near future. There'll certainly be one at some point in the next week because I need to do another one to make the the powers that be at tiktok happy thank you to everyone who's supported us through the gifts on tiktok the super chat stuff here on youtube um if you're not already subscribing slash following on both of those platforms go do that now uh, but for now i will say toodle pip uh, thank you for watching bye bye i'll see you again very soon bye i'm smiling i'm ending the stream on bow